Hi everyone, today we're gonna review the label printer, laser printer, I believe it is, Dymo Label Writer 450. I used this label writer for about a year now and I never had any issues with this label writer. It's brilliant and it's not like your normal ink printers like if you don't print it for like three or four days the heads is getting clogged up and basically you can throw away the machine with the Dymo label writer 450 I never had any issues he never gave up on me and must say if you need good label printer for your work I don't know what's better out there and it's cheap it's not even that expensive as well which is the great thing about it so yeah I bought my one I believe it was like 80 pounds from Facebook new and yeah it did came with the labels as well so let's see how to set up this machine so what you're gonna have there's your label printer 450 and you will gonna have USB cable which you plug it into your Windows and your MacBook whichever computer you have and you just download the software which is right here the demo I have my already so, so what we're gonna do we're gonna go into the Safari you might go to the Chrome or anything else you're gonna use on the time you're gonna set up your machine so I am on the Dymo web page already and you just pick the software and it will come up right here my one is on the MacBook so you just press the Mac it will come up here and you just press on it I won't be able to do that right now because I had mine installed already so we're just gonna clear Just gonna clear and when you're gonna set up your software just go back here it will show up the little icon is here right here demo label printer and you just press on it and there we go you got all kind of things you can do here and I mostly use this one and you just type whichever format you want this type of letters this type of letters and that's all sometimes it could be it come up as you see it's supposed to be a different color you can't press on it it could be do you just have to change the port where you inserted the USB cable so we stick into the another socket and you see if this is gonna work just wait for a little while usually it will not happen it only will happen when you remove the socket as you can see it came up and I can print and it's just simple as press and that's your sticky label you have this type of labels you have longer longer ones as well you just peel it off and you stick it and there we go that's the Dymo label printer so if we move it a little bit forwards that's how it looks inside 